Oh, look. Oh, it's what is it? Wait, no, it's a, a it's a jar with water in it. I'm seeing some money in there. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, shit. That is Dude, there's money what? in here. Okay, guys, so we are walking over to the pond right now. We're getting ready to do some magnet fishing. You guys have been wanting us to come back to the What the Hales Ranch for a while now. We are back. And of course, we got Omar and Tiff in Boston with us. And this is going to be pretty awesome. I'm getting ready to throw this magnet right in here. It actually looks pretty full. It looks a lot fuller than it was last time. Oh, something's moving down there. What is that? I don't know what that was. There was something moving right here. Here comes Boston and Lisa, hey. Omar and Tiff. So we're, we're gonna do some magnet fishing? Yeah. This is cool. Jen's got a really awesome magnet. These are the new duckies, guys. Look how big they're getting. Oh my goodness. Baby, how are you? Uh -huh. I castrated him. He's all healed up now. Oh, you uh, fixed him? Yeah, you know how I learned how to castrate on a wild hog? YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> I did. Are you gonna let him out? Are oh, you gonna feed him? Yeah. Cool. I'm surprised they won't eat the chicken. That's a little bantam chicken. If I let them all out, they're gonna follow you everywhere. Now, this is burnt bacon. This is bacon bits. That's bacon strips. We got we got Oreo. We got crispy bacon, and we got George Jr. The feistiest one is George Jr. You don't got no turkey bacon? No turkey bacon yet. <laughs> There's a seventh baby, and that baby has escaped two times. So we're naming it Houdini, even though we haven't caught it again. But these guys are all, you see, these are wild, that's a wild boar I'm petting right now. We, we've been able to actually tame, I've, I've castrated him and him. That word is so barbaric. Isn't it? Like, how about we just say you fixed them? Or, or uh, what's it, neutered? <laughs> All right, neuter. neuter. <laughs> this is this is Jeremy Hales reminding you: help control the wild boar population. Have your pigs spayed or neutered. That's great. I I'm glad you did that. <laughs> so the whole goal, and we have been doing it, but I don't have them out of the pen right now. The whole goal was to domesticate them, keep them here on the 70 acres. That way, they're safe on the 70 acres, and then they can come in and out at night. I just had them closed off. If I if I let the door open right now, they'll come right back tonight. Jeremy actually had a video the other day. I was so impressed how they all ended up back and in the they pen. they protect the chickens. Yeah, they're buddies with the chickens. Look how big these ducks got, guys. These guys were little the first time we came here. Yeah, they'll protect them from a that's huge. Remember, that's chicken nuggy. Chicken nuggy. Yeah, I love, I love the pigs. I love the chickens. We got ducks. Awesome. I can't believe how big they are. Hey, you got the boots with the fur. They're just pretty. Here it comes. Get him out. <laughs> They're outsmarting you. <laughs> oh, there goes Ken. I'll help you. Watch out for But this was your original fence post, right? This is my original okay. fence post. So they originally put that there. Uh, he originally put it there, I and then I perfected it for him, and yeah, I turned it towards the house. But he had it pointed yeah, towards me. He had it pointed towards me. 
Yeah. It takes a lot of nerve. These are the neighbors that sold me the property. They sold me this piece of property for $250,000. They sold it with known encroachments, which means they're legally liable for those encroachments and not disclosing it during the sale price. And I paid $5,800 to actually have this property surveyed, That's which a lot of they, money. they are one of the encroachments. And when I approached them and said, hey, we got a problem, he flipped out on me and then he carved what he thought was a hand with a finger sticking up at me which then i have now perfected and turned it and pointed it towards him are they putting up a fence so now they're putting up a fence to actually cover the hand that i perfected that's a piece of artwork that ain't going nowhere so you're gonna leave it there? i'm leaving it there and that's a part of the what the hail's history now so they had a fence over here and you can yes. clearly see yep. the survey marker over there, yep. I mean, it, that's like several feet into your property. About eight feet into the property. So I said, you're legally liable. I bought this property. I'll just sue you. It's like, I got you for destruction of property. I've got you liable for not disclosing the encroachments. Now, what about this fence line? That's all mine. Oh, that's all yours. See the survey tape there? Yeah. I own all of these. Wow. So we're going to go to the other side where the other neighbor for an issue. That's where the cell tower is. I cut another path over here. If you see the fence, that is the south what? property line branch. So the south property line yeah. is over there. This is where the money No wonder I have full in. bars. Oh, I have a grasshopper passenger. Really Look at this. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Wait, you got a, what? I got a passenger. Look at that. I don't even know where he came from. That's Probably so one of the cool. branches. Hi, little guy. Give me a kiss. Oh, oh he gave you a kiss. <laughs> Hi, little guy. He's so cute. Okay. Hey, I know where this should go. He should. Right, is that a hood ornament? Yeah. Right up. A hood ornament. There you are. <laughs> really you got a tape? I love that. Yeah. That'd be funny. <laughs> or maybe here with some zip ties or there something. You go. That is so you cool. Throw a hole through and zip tie it. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody that knows cell towers and leases on cell towers knows that's big money. It's really mm -hmm. big money. Okay. This isn't a small tower. This is the main hub for this area. So this is no small lease whatsoever. Generally speaking, leases like this can be up to five, potentially even 10, potentially even up to $20,000 a month. Mm. This wow. is a huge tower with a massive lease. This tower was leased. This is what hurts the most, okay? This tower was leased to this little old lady and one of her sons went with her to the negotiations and instead of taking a monthly lease, for a 50 years, what they did is they accepted a $100,000 payout wow. what? for 50 years, literally, literally wow. screwing them out of millions. We're talking millions of dollars. Now, when I buy a piece of property, any leases that are already on that property, I am now the owner of that lease. I cannot change that lease, so I don't get any money for this. But the reason why we bought it is because it is here. As professional full-time YouTubers, we needed this. We have the best access here on our property. But what happened, the $100,000 went to grandma, we'll just say grandma, months later, she passed away. The kids only found $4,000. There's literally $96,000 missing from this cell tower settlement. I'm guessing, I'm guessing she got the check and I'm guessing like anybody who she lived through the it. depression, she cashed it and then she had cash on hand, $4,000 was found, 
$96,000 is missing. It's somewhere. We just don't know where. Now, Jeremy did tell me That's last it. time that we were here looking for it. Why don't you get there? That uh, she loved hanging out by the pond. She loved the pond. She, her husband loved pigs. That's the original pig pen. He built that. We haven't adjusted it at all. And then they loved their chickens as well. That's what we do know. So I did bring my magnet today. We're gonna nice. see what we find today. You smart. know what? I have a rather unique idea that I haven't run by Jeremy yet. I like unique ideas. So just, I'm just gonna say yes. Let's do it. What if we <laughs> reach out to the spirit of the old woman that lived here and try to ask her on a spirit box session where the money's at? That's an awesome idea. Maybe use a Ouija board? The answer's no. <laughs> I changed my mind. <laughs> Do whatever you want. He draws the line no on the Ouija, Ouija board. board. <laughs> no Ouija boards. Oh, you got a grasshopper. We're in the middle of nowhere. That's a cooler love. design. That's a beautiful grasshopper. I am my own gas station. Did you see the did you see my tank when you pulled in? Wait. I buy bulk, 500 gallons at a time. I don't even go to a gas station. Wait, they bring it to what? me. What? I'm what not joking. Like that. So how much is it per gallon here? It, it's cheaper than what you guys <laughs> pay. It's cheaper than we'll what you guys We'll be going to Jeremy's to get gas. <laughs> hey, I, awesome. I do need some gas though. I'll, I'll pay Pablo some money. Mexican, let's go out and eat Mexican. <laughs> we'll get you some gas. It is Cinco de Mayo, guys. It is. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that's true. It is. We're just going to drive by it. Yep. Is that Pumas. Yeah. No, from here straight up. This whole thing was a dump. They cleaned all that up. There's still a few more things. They have to pull the house off. So that's pulling the house off. Is there a doggy? It is a doggy. Oh, there's a bunch of doggy. Are they related to the owners? The previous owners? Nope. Oh, okay. Wow. This, that front end we were just on was, was not my property. Wow. This is not my property. If you guys see these bows right here on the tree, this is another death on the property. Oh. And so oh. there was a local, there was a local man who was on his ATV and he actually flipped the ATV and he passed away right here. Now the way we found out about this is our fans reached out to us. His parents, his parents reached out to us and said, we want to talk to you. We didn't even know when we moved here. His parents live right around the corner. We went to go meet their parents and they told us the entire story. And we went, okay, those bows, those bows got to stay there. They got to be there. That's nice and you so kept them here. Yeah. He, yeah. he passed away right here. He flipped on the ATV and, um, and there's, there's a lot of questions. There's a lot of questions of what actually really, really happened. The one witness, and this is what the parents has told us, the one witness that was actually there refuses to talk about it. Wow. And so there are many, 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 many questions surrounding his his death but this is where he passed away right up here wow that's so sad are they suspecting foul play yes absolutely that's horrible all right time to see the creek this is the actual creek there are two gators in here. i'm about to say is there alligators in here two baby gators two are they still in here gators. they might be something just splash right there something's right there you see it yep that's i see one I of the see baby a fish. gators i see a fish right there so the creek goes through the entire back of my property. So you can see the you fish see the down fish there. Right there. Yeah, those so are, cool. Um, yeah, he's just twirling. Yeah. What are they called? Is that, is that an alligator gar, I think? A well, gar. what's that? Yeah. I see a head over there. Was yeah. it, is that a oh, turtle? That's, a, that's turtle. a turtle. Okay. That's a turtle right there. So you got an alligator gar, turtle. And normally I would just try calling the, um, you know, make an ah, ah, ah. You make the gator. There you go. You guys know. You guys have hung out with Robbie enough at Guess Swamp. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you where go. all the dinosaur bones are. So you've actually found some dinosaur oh. bones. Okay, Mermaid. mammoth, woolly mammoth, tapir, uh, mastodon, and a few others as well. Let's go check it out. Wow. And he's had professionals look at some of these artifacts, and they're legit. If we find one tusk, one full tusk, that's a million dollar find right there. For a tusk? For a tusk. Wow. For a pack tusk. Million dollar find. So cool, but you did find a tooth, right? We a found mammoth. a lot of pieces of tooth. That's so cool. Yep. That's awesome. Whoa, this is cool. This is so fun. Isn't this cool? Yeah. It's so Jurassic. Okay. You should get some goats. They'll clean all this up for you. So this is actual Otter Creek. Here's what I want you to see. Wow, it's drying up. It is. Do you see this mound over here? Yeah. So in the depression, you see this mound over here? Yeah. During the depression, they made, the government made up jobs to keep people working. 
working, and one of them was to dredge Otter Creek. So they dredged Otter Creek. Where do you think all the fossils and the bones are? In that in mound, in that mound, in that mound. I have mounds literally all over my property. Is that where you found? Like so, the... I'm gonna show you exactly where we found, dude. Did you get any ticks on you out here? Nope. Oh, cool. Right there. Dude, I can't see anything. What'd you find? I'm Dude, so that blind. spider looks crazy. Oh, sh**. That's venomous. So glad Tiff saw that spider because I would not have even seen it. <laughs> this is so Jurassic right here. <laughs> that goes a beautiful dragonfly though. Look, guys. Look at this amazing dragonfly right here. Look at this thing, man. This can pick up like a bicycle out of the water. My friend Mo uses this very same magnet. Have you used it in here yet? We have not. This is our Ooh. first time here with the magnet, so this is gonna be pretty cool. If we find anything, anything cool, Jeremy said we could keep it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm gonna let Omar, I'm gonna let Omar throw it out I for the first time. I think that's the money. There's a container over there. What is that? There is something Where? right there. There is a container over there. See it? Okay, so Boston spotted a container in the water. Got some chickens over here hanging out with us too. This doesn't look like a very deep pond, so. No, I don't oh. think it's too, too deep. I don't think we'll have to chuck it out too far. <laughs> Watch you throw and it's just like boom. <laughs> <laughs> it goes forever. You just see air bubbles for days. Sorry, Do you want to be the first one to throw it in? Is that why you're over here? Yo, there was a mosquito the size of a quarter on Tiffany a little bit ago. I couldn't believe it. Did it get you? I'm so she was like, ah! I Did thought it, get it was you? a dragonfly yeah. at first. It was oh. a mosquito. All right. Here we All go. right, here it goes. <laughs> so extra. Nice. That was a good splash. That was a good club plunk. Told you it wasn't very deep. All right, goes oh, a no, bit. that goes a little deep. Yeah, maybe like four or five feet. I did feel something a little heavy down there. I don't know. It could have been stuck on a log or something. Hmm. How come I feel like I got some? That would be awesome. That would be so cool. All right. First time. Watch it be like a phone. That'd be cool. Look at all the bubbles. I know. What is that? Maybe it's a turtle. Okay. Oh, no. oh I thought that was an alligator. Uh, let's <laughs> toss it over here. Splash down. Really curious what's in that container over there, though. Yeah. Oh, there's something. Look, look, look. Oh, oh what is, what is it? It's a Ninja Turtle can. <laughs> Maybe there's some money in it. Oh, that'd be cool. What is that? That is oh. so cool. Oh. It's filled with mud. <laughs> Dude, Maybe. Ninja Turtle. But this doesn't look that old. No. no. Maybe the money was in it and it this came is out. A, this isn't the old school Ninja Turtle. This is like the new school ones. These aren't as cool as, as our Ninja Turtles in the 90s. Teenage Mutant But we'll Ninja still Turtles. take them. That's cool. That's cool. Dude, look at that. I, I love it? Ninja Turtles. Oh, Mark, can I throw it? We're no, off to I'm a good start. No, I tried it yesterday. All right, here we go. That got me excited. A Ninja Turtle came. Like, we were legit out for like two hours the other day and didn't get anything but a That was my uh, second toss. Or right, like a staple in a fishing hook. Oh, he brought up a whole branch. Okay. <laughs> we're just gonna go ahead and clean out the. It's a magnet the branch. While we're here. I'm gonna really chug Watch it out. Watch out, buddy. Don't get hit with it. Wow, nice one. Hmm. What are those things in the middle of the water? There's a fountain. I think it's like an aerator, a like a fountain. Chick chick. Digging for bugs. Why well, can't I just fall down there? Hey, you want to pull it in, Boston? Yeah, yeah can you pull it in. Boston's got this. Here. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. What is that? Is it just branches? There's something? No, it's just branches. Oh, okay. Can I throw it? 
Yeah, go ahead and throw it. <laughs> nice one. That was a good throw. <laughs> they called a Boston. <laughs> Any kind of fishing takes patience. Here, you know what? Let me try Wise something. Wise words. Because we just we just mm -hmm. used this Coke can. Let's see if it oh, would yeah. pick up aluminum. It doesn't. So aluminum is not magnetic. Ooh, look at you in between the two. Wow, <laughs> nice one. Beginner's luck. That's kind of by that container. It is. I feel like bugs are biting me right through my shirt. They are. Wait, do you have the container? It's got something. I got some. Why did it move? It's moving. It's moving yeah. That whole container moved. I think so. Maybe it was just I don't know from the splash. Dang oh, it! What you got in there? It's... Something's coming with you. Is it? I think it might just be like some moss or something. It always freaks me out when I see the air bubbles come in. Because I'm like, what is that? Oh yeah, I see that. There is something attached. Oh, nope, it's gone. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. There something there though? Yeah. I think it's like it's all right that there. moss and stuff. Oh my, go up there, so there's a little pathway. Put it over here. Oh, that's not where I wanted to throw. Oh my. You can go in there and throw it over there. You're not the boss of me. <laughs> <laughs> That's where, I mean, over on this side is where that little Ninja Turtle thingy was. <laughs> Imagine that that old lady was throwing her money in here. Uh, that would be so crazy. I don't think she was going to that Sprinkle a little bit here, though. sprinkle a little bit there. Yeah. You know, old people do stuff like that, though. Right. Like, there's no rhyme or reason. That's true. <laughs> well, she threw drawers in the woods as well, so, I mean... It doesn't have any explanation either. Right. My grandmother used to stash money all over the house. So did mine. Oh my god, there and oh, you can get near that box. Yeah. Got some seaweed. Yeah. Mm -mm. Uh-oh. That's not gonna come around <laughs> that. <laughs> hey, we got something. Let's see what we can find over here. Yeah, that's that was a good toss. It's right next to the. Uh, Did you catch a gator? Maybe. Right Something's pulling on it? You might have something really heavy. Maybe. Oh, it's a branch. <laughs> and all. It's a giant branch. Okay, guys, so we've been taking turns throwing the magnet in. Omar's getting ready to do it again. For like the 50th time. I thought magnet fishing would be more fun. <laughs> it's just like. I mean, it's fun, but it's like, like if you don't oh, get anything, oh. it's like, it's like, you know. It's important to try like different places. Like yeah. Over. That's what we've been doing too. We've been throwing over there, over there, over there, over there. Like trying to, to move it around a little bit. All we keep catching is mud. Hey, we did get a Ninja Turtle case. That's true. Do you think that the kids, the people that live up front, the neighbors, like maybe they have kids? Yeah, like maybe. Where the heck does the new Ninja Turtle thing come I, from? I don't know. It's weird. I don't know why they would be throwing stuff in the. And the water here, though. What? What is that? Nothing. <laughs> no, I thought I saw something. It I like did a too. Or something. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh what is it? Ah! <laughs> thought I was <laughs> There's something down there. It, it came up. Oh, and it's back. Where is it? I can hear it. I can hear it too. Oh, look! Oh, it's what is it? Wait, no, it's a, jar. it's a jar with water in it. I told you, I saw some glass. Is that there's money? Some, there's something in there. Nah. Oh. That's money. That's Maybe it's just like algae. It looks like money. There's no way. Maybe it's algae. It's, it's got like, it looks like water yeah. in it. Pull that bad boy up. Let's see what it is. It won't let me pick it up. <laughs> looks it's like all. just a bunch of leaves. I'm surprised it even came out of the water. Ooh. I'm so obsessed. Every time I see something, I'm like, is that money? Is that money? Is that money? <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm seeing some money in there. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm just going to grab it. I'll climb down there. 
It's probably leaves. Don't fall. I, it got stuck in the mud, I guess, and that like the magnet only pulls so hard. Oh shit! That is. Dude, there's money in here. Dump it out! Dump it out! Dump it out! No, there really is money in here. Look at that. This oh, is smells like. That's dirty money. Ew. <gasps> Dude, all right, well, look, it's not $96,000, but there's a lot of old dollar bills Ooh, in here. Oh, look, look at a $2 old, bill. Oh, $2 oh bill. that's so cool. Wow. Wait. Ew, it stinks. Come on, it's probably like 20 bucks here. Yo, oh, what, what if there's like a million of those jars in there? Keep throwing down there. Okay, now I'm down for you to continue. As Omar would say, let's do right, this. Look, it makes perfect sense. Cool. <laughs> If you're trying to hide cool. money in here, you're not going to be hiding it way down there. You're going to hide it close to the shoreline. This thing looks like it's been like flooded and drained and flooded and drained. It's still, it's not far from where the, the yeah. line is of where. The question is, is how would you go down there? Would you go down there and just like pick it out of the water? Maybe that's what that person was doing. You said Robbie had found some stuff too? His son did. But wait, has this always been a pond though? Yeah, they made it. The previous owners actually made this pond. So this do you was, think that this was just like buried maybe before? No, this was the lady's no, yeah. I feel like it was her. All right, guys, Omar just had an awesome idea. He said, how about if we turn on... Look at that, babe. There's bubbles popping up right We now. have a new app. Omar just told me about it. We are going to include a link in the description. So if you're interested in this app, this is like the next level from the last one we were using. It's uh, pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. So That's we're gonna- the same makers. Yeah, the same designers of Actually, the one that we used to use. you know that app was first. Oh, this one was? Yeah, but I like it a little bit better. So I've only used it once. Let me see if I can remember how to turn it on. You just hit the switches. And if, okay. you, if you want it faster, you hit more switches. If you want it. I usually like to keep it on one or two. Go speed. To speed. Where's the money buried? Left. I heard left. I did too. Oh, he's here. Look. Oh, he just came back. Here comes Jeremy. Jeremy. Oh, he's gonna be shocked. Hey, we just look what a, we found. We found a jar with money in it. It wasn't ninety-six thousand, but there's probably like twenty dollars here. Uh, and there's a two-dollar bill. You got a two-dollar bill as well. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if. She, because it was really close to the shoreline. I wonder if there's more, like by the shoreline. Is there more money by the shoreline? Where did um Robbie find the jar of money? It was up in. It was up in the attic. I'm not giving up. There's got to be more. Is there more money in the pond? Totally. Where's the ninety-six thousand dollars? Omar, you only got 95,900 and about 91 more dollars to find. But dude, that's a start, man. It's still cool. I mean, we're on the right track. There's like a Where? container down there on the side over yeah, there. Yeah, there's a, see a plastic container. What if that's it? You see it? I see it. Do you have a pool net? I got a bigger magnet. Do you? Well, it's plastic, so I don't think it's gonna. No, no pool net. Oh, what is that? Oh, we also found this. Oh, we found a Ninja Turtle box. Dude, that is sweet. Yeah. There's so much odd stuff on this property. Like, I was in Ohio and I came back and I went back to feed the pigs. There's wires sticking out of the ground. I'm like, all right, what do I have here? Is there, is there, uh, you know, underground, whatever. I don't know what it is. So I found wires sticking out of the ground over there. I just, there's just stuff everywhere. There could man. be a bunker under there housing. There could be a bunker. Could that be. would be so wild. A That's what we thought we found that one day. Remember we, we were, were, we had that tie out and we were tractor. pulling it. Yeah. Yep. Like what we if, were convinced it I'm was a bunker. Thinking, what if down there is a safe <gasps> with the money? That'd be epic. I mean, it could be. I think we need a heavier I, I age. think she <laughs> legit, she buried it somewhere. But I, there, think, I, think I think we need a, swimming. I was going to say, I think we oh, need yeah. a pump. <laughs> I just took a shower, but I think we're going swimming. Uh, we're not finding any more of those jars like that. This is a big pond. But I mean, that's cool. That's awesome. That looks like, cool. That's been sitting there a long time. How did I even pick that up? Oh, it was this. I feel like there's still stuff in here. Oh, 
Okay, time to go. The protectors of the land are out. Jeremy's getting ready to let the pigs out, guys. Here they come. Boston's running for his life. Anybody got a Dorito? Hey guys. How are you? They're pretty fast. They're pretty fast. Now tonight, they'll all go back into their bedroom. Hi. What's up? How you doing? How you doing? Even though they're wild, I got them to a point. This one right here, that's beast. Him right there. The big boy. Wait, then where's his little... That's, that's, that's Beast, that's Beauty. He's too young, he doesn't have his cuss yet. Look at all the baby ducks. Yeah, he's not castrated. Beast does not <laughs> He's living large. Yeah, if, if they get neutered, they don't grow tough. That one is so skittish. Every time somebody reaches for him, This like, little guy? Yeah. Hi, Beauty. <laughs> he likes me. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> He's like, wait for me. <laughs> that golden one, oh my goodness, the way her fur so shines beautiful. in the sun, know, it's, it's so just cute. amazing. So they're all foaming, thinking they're gonna get a treat because they're around people. So that's what they're begging for right now. They're like, treat, treat, treat. You feed them anything. They're pigs. <laughs> Here, Boston, you wanna feed them a Dorito? They love milk bones. The chicken wants a Dorito. Let them eat it from here. <laughs> Beast is like, hey, what about me? Just drop it. Beast wants oh, one. Oh, look what I got. Doritos. Hey. Here, buddy. Doritos. Oh, 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 that's my foot. That's my foot. Oh, gosh. Look oh, at these God. guys. They're pigs. Just drop it, buddy. Ah. They're going crazy. Ah. Oh, Beast is coming for it. No, Beast. Beast is coming for you. Beast is coming for you, Boston. I'm not me. That's so cool they get along with the chickens, too. Now, Boston, if they get too close, what you do is just take your foot up right by their snout. <laughs> and just right by their snout and they'll back off. That's the most sensitive part of their body is their nose. So if you get by their nose, they'll back off. If you're ever in a fight with an alligator, hey, always get his eye. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was interesting. Like, bite him. Okay, yeah. No, don't lick me. Don't lick me. <laughs> Come over no. here, buddy. <laughs> so even though these guys are all wild, I'm too they'll big. all go back to their short. bedroom tonight. Go. Because they know I'll bring Watch them your hand. Water. They're hog wild. I can't. I can't go that height. You're fine. Well, when Jen and Lisa were out here last time, the new babies, how are they doing? Were they eating out of your hand yet? Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, kind of. Like they were still really skittish, but yeah, they were just. Now they'll eat out of your hand, and yeah. Who's the youngest one? They're all. The, 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 the smallest ones are all the same age. They were all born the same day. It's funny because like you can actually see where they're all starting to be almost the same size. Like they're catching up. Yeah, they're catching up. Now. So that's awesome. Yeah. This chicken is laying an egg right now, guys. Look at this. This is the coolest thing ever. I'm calling the chickens. It worked. Look, I called that one up here. The ducks came too. Look at that. When you when you call the chickens, and the ducks come too. Boston is getting the ride of his life over here right now. Look at that. What we want to do, we want to put camper hooks <laughs> on everything. You see how high I go? So we want it to be a place for YouTubers to come. I got so high. I think we have to put Lisa in there next. Oh what do you think? Did you see how high he went? I was just in the hen house calling the chickens, and the ducks started coming to me too. Oh my God. I was going, Bark! that one, the white one is laying an egg right now. It yeah. is? Yeah. This is so cool, guys. The pigs are getting in the pond. They got out. <laughs> so I just asked Eric, Jeremy if the pigs have a pool. And he was like, of course they do. They were, they were all just chilling right now in the pond. Sorry. I don't know. They'll come back. We just missed it. But <laughs> that's their pool. You can still see the ripples where they just got out. Yeah. You know what's really important for pigs to take baths? 
because they don't produce natural oils. Oh, really? On their skin, yeah. I didn't know that. They get so their skin can get really, really dry. Is that why they normally roll in the mud or yeah. dirt? Yeah, it doesn't really stick to them. Okay. Like you would think it does, but it doesn't. Yeah, their their skin is so dry; they don't have oil on their skin, and they can't. Uh, what's the word? They can't sweat. They don't sweat. Oh. So okay. That's, their way of cleaning themselves. Yeah, I know they say like pigs are super clean. They are, but they aren't. <laughs>